Hello, Average Just Chum viewers. I'm offline. There's no chat. I'm, I'm recording just a YouTube video today. It's like the, the streamer to commentary YouTuber pipeline that they're all talking about. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this, but I found something that was like a hidden gem, and I figured, why not shed some light on it? Snapchat! I know you know what it is, but... Like, my experience as a 21-year-old on Snapchat is like the football player that graduated 10 years ago but keeps on going back to visit his roots. It's not criminal, but it feels weird, you know what I mean? It's like, I have taxes to pay now, you know? And I don't have time to put on a dog face filter and message somebody for three weeks just for it to be left on red. And now the only thing I'm really upset about is that I lost the little streak thing. But I went on a little road trip to visit a friend this past weekend and, you know, I get bored and so I start going through different apps and I find my way to Snapchat and all of a sudden I'm on the discovery page. Like, uh, people use this, apparently. And if you don't know, Snapchat has, like, shows now. Not like TV show, not like, it's not Netflix, but they pay for creators who would upload typically on YouTube or TikTok or literally anywhere else other than Snapchat, but they're paid to upload it so that they can put ads on it and basically just make more fucking money for some reason. And I came across probably the worst one, I'd have to say. This is Fly on the Wall. It's a series that takes found footage, like from CCTV or somebody's phone, and basically explains it to a point where literally I, I don't even think there's just no possible way I couldn't understand the fucking video. It's like it's these people's jobs to make the content bad. They take the content, they put it in a coffin, they put that coffin in a vault, they put it in the water, they have a submarine pick it up, drag it to the Mariana Trench, and leave it into the deepest shit pile of the internet, which is why I can only assume that they have six... 6,000 subscribers. How do they... How'd you... 6,000 subscribers! And so I said, hey, I got some spare time. Let me... let me enlighten... my people. So let's hop into it, you know, if you got a blanket, wrap yourself up, let's- ooh, cozy time, let's watch some feel-good... content. Did you also count how many circles there were in in that 22 second clip that I just showed you? Five circles in that 22 second clip. That means that for every 4.4 seconds of footage, there is one circle to direct your eyes and let you know, hey, look at this, look, this part of the video is really important. You see this circle? That means that there's a, it's a dog, okay? Look at that dog. Do you see- Can we put it- Can we get another circle? I'm sorry, what? Let me get this straight. You had to steal the dog from the homeless man in order to get supplies? Did the dog help you pick out the items? What was the necessity of the of stealing the dog? Why, why did we have to do that? And again, as is typical with Fly on the Wall, there are just so many circles, arrows even. And I love the text. It's like the magnum opus of Fly on the Wall content. The guiders that let you know, hey, in case you can't fucking tell because you're a stupid, dumb little baby and you're dumb and you don't get anything, you can't just watch a video and assume what's happening. Here is exactly what's happening, frame by frame, spelt out because you're so stupid. That's fly on the wall. One minute shorts that with Snapchat ads really is like five minutes uh, of just glorious, absolutely caught on, on camera. 
I don't know wh where this camera is, CCTV, I don't- in the- in the fucking forest. So that was He Lost His Best Friend. Um, it's more of a feel-good, uh, story that we get. But, let's get into something a little more... naughty. Something more... <laughs> risque, if you will. I'm sorry. Where is there a CCTV camera in your apartment? In your home? How do you- how do you get this footage? Where- where is fly on the wall? You know how people always talk about the FBI agent in your phone? It's actually just fly on the wall farming for more Snapchat content. It's also important to note that it is canon for everyone in Fly on the Wall videos to be completely oblivious to anything going on around them. Literally, there's a fucking- the blanket's moving- look at this. Look at how much movement. And- and this whole time, she- like, I just- I just want popcorn. What's wrong, buddy? She sees the covers moving. Like, oh, oh my god. In case you didn't know, in case you guys can't pick up, because again, you're dumb little stupid little idiots and we hate you, we hate you content creators, think you're so fucking stupid, we have to spell everything out, we have to caption everything, circles, arrows. She sees the covers moving. Guys, come on. I can't snap that well. Pick up, okay? Watch the video. Oh, the man was choking. Guys, you know how it is when you start choking and then you just start convulsing absurdly. And then you put a blanket over yourself because, you know, you gotta make sure nobody sees you as you're choking. Because the most important thing to do when you need the Heimlich Maneuver is hide. Hide immediately. Get out of sight. Do not let anybody know that you are in trouble. <laughs> and how wrong of these bystanders, okay, to assume that anyone would, would have sex right next to them. And I know that sounds sarcastic. But like, they, they were- they were right there. Do they really think somebody would just... Blank it up. We are now going to have sex. <laughs> Sorry to get you guys a little, you know, steamy there on that one. Uh, but this one is... Dumb. It's d well, okay, mo all of them are dumb. All- I could say all of them are dumb. But this one especially... I just- I... How? how? How would you even make this video and expect people to believe it? I just want to make it abundantly clear, in case you guys did not see the circles on the text, okay? This woman has been paralyzed for six months. Okay, six months. And so obviously, as any trained medical professional knows, the only way to cure paralysis is going to a masseuse, is going to a massage therapist. Chat, welcome back to my favorite game show. What do you think will happen next? Is it A, she dies? Is it B, she gets up, thanks the doctor and starts jumping around with glee? Or is it C, it doesn't work. She's paralyzed. Why would a fucking massage work? I'll give you a moment to lock in your answers. Comment it down below even, I don't know. Maybe click like and subscribe. I'm feeling goofy, you're feeling goofy, just do it. Is it in? Do you have your, do you have your answer? Do you have it? Do you have the answer? You have it? Okay, all right, awesome, let's see. Congrats to everybody who answered B. 
What the fuck? <laughs> That's right, after six months of paralysis, she not only stands up, but starts f jumping, dude. She's. <laughs> Is that not insane? I was going to ask if they thought about this in the writer's room. I don't think there is a writer's room. And if there is, it's like a small storage closet. And it's just one guy working alone who's just like, fuck all, I don't care. No longer paralyzed, six months, jumping for glee, bouncing, hopping with glee. And I know some people may be like, chump, it's not supposed to be realistic. It's just, it's just content. It's just funny. But the literal about section of these videos says, ever wonder all the crazy things a CCTV camera sees? Hit that subscribe button to find out. All videos based on real life scenarios. Huh? You mean to tell me somebody got massaged out of paralysis and jumped for glee immediately after? You mean to tell me a man got his dog stolen by a police officer so that the police officer could buy supplies for it? You are telling me somebody got the Heimlich under the covers, which sounds like a sex move, and their two friends thought they were having sex and just yanked the covers. Th these are real. These are based on real life scenarios. Oh my god. Maybe I'm just a cranky soul. Maybe I just I just can't I just can't find the fun in things and everything has to be perfect for little little chumpy, little little chump boy. But I don't know. I just thought it was a bit ridiculous. I wanted to film some YouTube content. And here we are. So that's it. It's just something I wanted to share with you that I felt I'd do better making jokes about it off stream. But if you're watching this video and you don't watch my streams, I stream every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday night. That is four days a week. I'll be live at 8 p.m. EST if you want to check me out over there. And if you're one of my stream enjoyers, hey, average just jump enjoyer, you're looking good today. You're looking buff. I, I like I like whatever you did with your hair. It looks amazing. Wonderful. God, look at you go. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be doing another one of these, but if this does well and you guys like it, maybe I will. So let me know. Do, do the things. Do the YouTube things. The like and the comment and the, the you know, subscribe. Do, do all those things and maybe I'll do another one of these if you so enjoy. If you so please was the right phrase there. But yeah. That's all I got. Thanks. Bye.